today we are going to be doing the tank sealer inside of the Bobcat tank. And you can see how to do it. This is my first time using the Red Coat tank sealer, and so far I think it's really good. I'll post pictures in here of the actual tank sealer, but there doesn't really have to be any rust cleanup prep for this product. You just have to have everything that's loose out. So you can put it right over the rust that's in there. I ended up cutting this tank open and cleaning out, well, cleaning it out, but I had to patch this because there was so many holes on it. And so we did some work on this and a whole bunch of other stuff. You'll have to see the videos for that. But for this product, you just have to get all the loose stuff out and then you just pour it in there and slosh it around for a while and then you pour everything out and then you just have to keep rotating the tank in different directions so that way you don't get a puddle that just sits on the bottom because that won't dry if it's too thick. So you have to keep rotating it so that it actually dries in a thin layer. All right, we have the tank all sealed up. We have a little piece of tape over because we're gonna do the seal coat on the inside. We have our soldered patch on and then we have all these little holes plugged as far as we know, it's plugged. <laughs> All right, so you're thinking like half of this. Mm -hmm. Something, yeah, I mean, maybe one third. It's kind of thin, isn't it? It's not as thick as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's like whole milk. Yeah. So you put some duct tape over your holes and that way you can tip it upside down and get every part covered. Super important that you hold it there for a little bit to allow it to fully go. And the more you put in, the easier it is gonna rotate around. All right, we put in almost a half, a little bit less in. And there is a little bit floating around in here. We're gonna get that poured out. Just a nice red glow in there. We had a little bit come out on one of our seams, but it'll seal it up and we'll check it after the fact. We're just gonna get that drained out and let it dry really, really good and we'll take a look. All right, we're rotating it again. Just kinda wanna take a peek in here and see. It's looking pretty good. We'll just do it like that and kinda let it keep on running. And there's definitely some on the bottom, but that's good because then it's kinda rolling around. So then I'm just going to tip it and set my timer for another 10 minutes. Pretty simple, very important step. So you can see there's some thicker spots and some thinner spots in there. The bottom is rough, but that was all kind of adhered, it wasn't loose. So we're gonna do our second coat. There's another patch on the bottom. A couple run marks up there, you can see a little bit. Overall, I'm really happy with it, how it turned out, how it's gonna work. Even though it had all the holes, it had all the rust, it's still gonna work and it's gonna do what I needed to do. So I really appreciate Matthew's help and knowledge with this and we'll get it in there soon and see how it does.